Melinda Hill, and I have a comedy show called Tiger Lily. I found an alley out back where I asked people what they wanted to be when they grew up. This is All Grows Up. Please welcome Mike Kaplan. What did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, I was told that I wanted to be an accountant. Uh, so told. I, my, my parents and, you know, uh, other Jews in the family were like, you're good at Monopoly banking, so you should do that. And I, then I math, and I liked it, so I was like, sure. At what point did you graduate from accounting to comedy domination? Uh, uh, when I was 16 or so, I started playing the guitar, and that became, I, uh, then I wanted to be a, you know, a folk singer, a singer-songwriter. Uh, and that morphed into comedy eventually. Like an Elvis Costello situation? Uh, more like a They Might Be Giants meets Ani DeFranco situation. Did anyone give you any good advice that helped you with your comedy career? Uh, I recently got the advice uh, to not take advice from just one person. So I like that, to crowdsource your advice. I got that from A.J. Jacobs' father. I like that. Is that J.J. Abrams' son? Uh, yeah. Has anyone ever given you any bad advice? Be yourself, I guess, all the time, because uh, you shouldn't necessarily. What advice would you give aspiring comedians and writers to help them succeed? Oh, uh, don't worry about failing. Just don't worry about anything. Just just do everything that you want to do, but also probably worry a little bit. What should they worry about? Worry about how much you have to worry, pretty much. Just You want to worry the exact right amount. I read a Buddhist thing or a Taoist thing, so I don't even, I don't even worry about which one it is. But uh, they said, one of them said, don't worry about things that you can't change because you can't change them. And don't worry about things that you can change because you can change them. So there's nothing then that you have to worry about. I love that. Are you a meditator? Uh, I mean, I think like in spurts uh, while I'm, ne not really. And what is the weirdest or saddest thing that's ever happened to you in your career? I opened for Casey and the Sunshine Band once uh, on a rotating stage outdoors. Most people didn't want that to happen. Uh, and me, the me part of it. But there was like a little girl who gave me a thumbs down and everybody was uh, yelling for it to stop. Even though I was like, guys, the, the band's gonna come out at eight, even no matter what, I'm here from seven until 7.25 or 7.30. There's an intermission after me, booing doesn't, won't help it go faster. In fact, I'll, I'll, if you'd stop yelling, I'll make it shorter. And what did you learn from that experience? Oh, uh, I mean that it's still worth it to get a few hundred dollars to get yelled at for a half hour. Well said. Thank you. Um, is there anything that you do to help you in your process? Uh, you just do it. You just keep doing it and eventually you're good at it, hopefully, or you're not, and then, but you can't help it. You just, you can only do it. I feel like you're speaking in math. I, I sort of live in math. You live on Math Island? Correct. I, uh, I take methamphetamines. 